Alrighty folks, it's your boy Seppo Pai here coming at you guys with another vlog. I had this idea where I wanted to get a bunch of discs from all different decades. I have frisbees from 70s all the way to 2013, starting off from this Whammo professional frisbee. I don't know exactly when this was made, but I think either very early 70s or late 60s. I have a CPI Saucer Tosser Ultra Star or All Star. Uh, came out in 71. Then I have this one. It's a Whammo, I think a Moonlighter or something like that. It was used for the first Frisbee golf uh, when they played to the pole holes. Uh, I don't know exactly when this came out, but if you know, please comment. I have the first ever beveled edge disc that was made for Frisbee golf. It's the Inno Innova. Uh, Eagle, that's known as the Arrow these days, came out in 84. The Rock came out in 87. It's a little bit faster than the Arrow. I have Gazelle that came out just a couple months before I was born in 94. I have the one of the most modern and fastest discs in the world, the Destroyer that came out in 2007. And I have a D2 that came almost 10 years after the Destroyer that's even faster and a very stable distance driver. Starting off from the oldest one, I just have to remember to give a lot of hyzer, almost as much as I can, and throw it pretty high. That was interesting. I think it was, a, I thought it was a pretty good throw, but something weird happened. It might be so light that it just doesn't go very much further than that. Next up, we have the CPI Saucer Tosser. Uh, to my knowledge, this was made after that to compete with the Whammo version. And uh, this was not allowed in the competitions because Whammo was the company that made the competition so they didn't allow this because it was a better frisbee let's see how it actually goes <laughs> okay i think that did that was definitely a better throw and handled power better i don't know if it went any further but I don't know how far those are, maybe about 90 or 100 meters. Moving on to the first frisbee that was liked uh, in frisbee golf specifically. I don't think it was made for frisbee golf, but this was the one that they liked to use because it was a little bit heavier. Okay, that was once again a little bit better. I did not get a perfect line on any of those, but that was a pretty good shot. I think it definitely went a little further. I'm also gonna measure all of those shots uh, when I'm done throwing them, so we'll see exactly how it goes. But moving on to the Eagle, known as the Arrow these days. I'm expecting this to go clearly further than any of those. Um, still height and a lot of hyzer. That's good. Oh, that's very understable. But probably 20 to 30 meters further than the Frisbees. Pretty happy with that. Once again, a step up from the Arrow. DX Rock, very old school, came out in 87. I think we should be breaking pretty close to 130, 140 meters. I'm throwing them just a little bit too low. 
other than that they're pretty good and so far I think each frisbee that is newer than the previous one has flown further. Gazelle, I actually know how this flies and it's way more stable than you would think a beat up old gazelle to be. Oh, not that stable though. That's probably just as far as my rock. You could see it turned too much. Didn't get a perfect throw on that. But we're moving on to the distance drivers. I was thinking about taking the Wraith or the Destroyer for this uh, video, but decided to go with the Destroyer. Everybody is pretty familiar with this disc. I, haven't, I have not thrown the Destroyer in a long time, so I don't know exactly what to expect, but I'll try to get this to at least 150 meters. Ah! Uh. Moving on to the last disc, the Prodigy D2 that came out in 2013 was one of the first discs Prodigy came out with. And uh, since then it has been one of my go-to drivers. And after I won my second Finnish championship, I wanted to come out with this Glimmer 400 plastic D2. They're very domey and these things bomb. That's why I wanted to take this here because I really wanted to rip something far and uh, let's just see how it goes. I'll try to break 180. Come on, get up. Nice. First, I thought I turned it way too much over, but the wind is coming from right to le or left to right tail, so that was perfect. And it rode way more to the right than I wanted actually, but luckily the wind helped us. That might be actually pretty close to a couple hundred meters. The wind was so bad, sound quality was messed, but here we go. The first shot was 90 meters with the Whammo Professional Frisbee. CPI flew 105 meters. The Wemo, whatever it is, flew not even further than the previous one, which was surprising, but it was too low. The Eagle was clearly further, 125 meters. The Gazelle that turned over, only 120, not even further than the uh, Rock, which was 130. Destroyer 153 and the D2 didn't go 200 but 185. All right, guys, that was it. I had fun doing it. Unfortunately, we lost a couple of the discs out the screen, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week.